Hey YouTube, I feel like it has been forever since I've made a video. I really think it's been three weeks. We've had a lot going on and it's been very, very overwhelming. Um, but the purpose of this video is just to talk about where we are with our diet. I know a lot of people, well, I don't have that many followers, so not that many, but I know some of you are wondering what's going on. Maybe you're along this journey with me, or you're looking for some type of encouragement, or just curious. Um, so you're wondering where we are with our diet. So I would say maybe about seven weeks ago, we made some big changes in our diet. I have always been a vegetarian. Our two-year-old is a vegan and my husband is a very light meat eater. Um, we decided to go completely vegan um, to a plant-based diet. Um, so there's a difference between being, being vegan and being plant-based. Um, slight differences, but no, slight depending on who you ask. Um, but decided to go completely plant-based, so not having anything that's um, like really like meat substitutes and things like that. Just, just fruits and vegetables, grains, beans, seeds. So, so far, six weeks in, it's going great. So my husband wears raw for two weeks. I don't know how he did it. Um, no, I think he was raw for three weeks. It was supposed to be a two-week challenge, but... More power to him. He just kept going. Um, he was feeling great, looking great. And I want to tell you at the end how much weight we've both lost. Um, so now he eats some cooked food. But when I say it's cooked, it's, it's you know, something like maybe some chickpeas and a salad. Or he may eat some quinoa. Very light cooked food. Once in a while he may poke at some pasta if my son is eating it. But... He's really still doing a lot of raw, so he does a lot of smoothies, a lot of salads during his day. So then for me, I've been completely vegan. I can't believe it. This is probably the third time that I've tried to go vegan. And you would think it wouldn't be that difficult going from vegan to vegetarian, but it has. Um, I would think the first time was... Yeah. In 2004, 2003, 2004, that's when I really started kind of transitioning because I started having stomach pain, so I cut out milk. I was doing, you know, drinking cow's milk, so I cut that out, and it was hard getting rid of cow's milk because I enjoyed cow's milk. Now, thinking back, I'm like, how did I drink that? Oh. But um, I then was on soy milk, now we do almond milk. But needless to say, I'm still going strong. I can't believe that this is finally, I'm finally at a point where I'm really sticking with this. I felt like before the main, my main challenge was, you guess, because I talk about it all the time, I'm sure you can guess it, pizza. I love pizza. Um, at one point, I used to do pizza with very, very little sprinkles of cheese on it. Um, but then I stopped doing that. And But now, I mean, that was years ago. But now I'm back on it. I haven't had any cheese in six weeks, six or seven weeks, maybe even longer. I'm really proud of myself. This was a huge accomplishment for me. And I just really have seen differences just with taking out that one thing in my body. So you may ask, how, how did I do it? So how am I substituting uh, something that I was so addicted to? I really feel like it was an addiction. And it's probably because all the crap that they put in that stuff. So... You know, something I did is I I watch documentaries or and, do, and I do research on how something is produced, how animals are treated, um, what it does to your body. And these really help me when I'm going through a difficult time. Because I almost have to look at the food that I'm trying to cut out as it being gross, which... You know, it's somewhat it is. I mean, I, I say somewhat. I feel like it is. But I say somewhat because I try to be respectful of other people that are out there that have different diets than I have. And I completely, completely respect people for that. I never, ever want to judge anyone for what they eat, what they do. Um, the decisions that I have made, those are my decisions. And it's not right. I wouldn't say it's right if it's wrong. It's just my decision. And those are based on my experiences in life, um, my own body. And so this way, how could I ever judge someone based on the decisions that they have made with their own diet? If someone asks for assistance or help from me, then I'm happy to give and I'm happy to push them as hard as, I, as they would like to be pushed. But other than that, I leave people alone. Um... 
So I digress. <laughs> so trying to, to, so I was explaining on how I am able to get over the, I feel like I've really gotten over the hump this time. I focused on, again, those three things, what it does to my body, what it does to animals and our environment, and what it's, what's in the product. So once I have that kind of set in my head, it makes it much more difficult for me to put something into my mouth, into my body, into my temple. So, so that's really worked for me. I have, um, and you may see it in my haul, but there's a, a Trader Joe's is a um, vegan pizza. Where it's just, there's no mock cheese or anything like that. Um, and that's helped a lot. It's like a roasted vegetable pizza. I'll put it in the description box and it's really quite tasty and a great price. <laughs> I've also gotten the, um, I've also gotten a few frozen pizzas with mock cheese on it. So we've had that for really our cheat days. But honestly, I don't even like eating that stuff. Um, you know, I want to be completely plant-based and not really incorporating things like that into my diet. But I also want to have a good time and I want to enjoy things that I want to enjoy. So I give myself room and I don't beat myself up if I do have a some mock vegan cheese. But I, regardless, I feel like I'm happy with where I am and what I'm doing in my diet currently. So the things that we've been enjoying, a lot of smoothies, a lot of different types of salads. I'm going to start doing a better job with um, talking about my meal plan. I'm not really a meal planner because I don't like cooking very much. I wouldn't say I don't like cooking. I don't like cooking and cleaning. It's just a lot of work, all of that together. And I balance so much that I can't do it all. So I don't do a whole bunch of cooking. Um, but when I do cook, there are, um, of course, I'm cooking vegan, plant-based items. So I really want to do a better job of documenting some, documenting some of those items and showing more about what I'm buying at the grocery store. And it also, staying on this diet has really helped that we're kind of doing it as a family. I know I wanted to do it before, but it wasn't until my husband came home and was, was frustrated with his workouts and his weight that really made him say, I'm done, I'm ready to make this change. Then in my head, because I was ready too, I said, oh, I'm with you, please take me along. Oh my gosh. Um, it really helps that we're a household doing it together. Now, for those of you all who aren't in that type of situation, it makes it a lot more difficult, especially if you're having to cook for someone that's eating something you're trying to cut out. But the things I would really focus on is just making sure that you're planning, um, that you really have an idea of what you're going to eat and it's something you're interested in eating so that when you see something that's tempting to you that you're able to really stay as strong as possible. And um, also be very transparent um, with the person that's in your household that may be eating differently. Um, let them know what your goals are. Um, you know, as partners, we're here to support each other. So maybe when they're home, they'll be interested in eating the things that you're incorporating, incorporating into your diet. Or maybe while they're out um, at work or whatever it may be, they'll eat those other things that you really don't want in your household any longer. I'm sure there's a lot of great experts out there that have great tips on these. So those are the two that I could really think of. And But I wish you luck for those of you all who are looking to make similar changes. So now, the finale. How much weight have we lost? <laughs> I have lost seven pounds. And that's a lot for me because um, I'm not a really big person, <laughs> um, but I did, I was carrying around some more belly weight than I would want to. That's where I kind of store my, my fat. So I was carrying around more belly weight than I wanted to. And of course, after having a child, everything kind of piles on there. So I'm really excited about that. I feel like I'm, I'm fitting all my clothes so much better. Clothes I really didn't know if I would ever really fit that well anymore. Everything still fit from before my pregnancy, but it just didn't look the same. So now I'm getting a closer look and I feel really proud with the way I look. Now my husband, he has lost over 25 pounds. Can you believe that? Just from going... Well, not just because it's really hard, but being a raw vegan got him there. So like I said, he was a raw vegan probably for three weeks or so. And now he is um, probably raw about 70% of the time. 
maybe a little less because he's on the road a lot so it makes it a lot more difficult but he is finding all vegan options to eat while he's out um but he has been a vegan and the weight just keeps coming off and he's not hungry sometimes he's you know it's a it's a it's a definitely a challenge on his willpower because he maybe want maybe he wants something else and when i say he wants something else he wants some spaghetti or some bread he really doesn't eat things like that anymore but what he does is he stays focused on things he can eat we found some different types of treats that um, have been satisfying him so as we get deeper and deeper into being a plant-based home we're finding things that really work well to incorporate into our lives so we found some like kind of fruit bars and some kind of substitutes maybe like a fr fruit roll-up or something but I don't eat them, but my husband does, and it's a great, like, treat for him. And most people wouldn't look at that as a treat, but he's really kind of changed his thinking a lot. So um, maybe one day I'll do a video with him, and he can tell you about his experience. So that's really it. I hope he doesn't mind me sharing his weight. <laughs> I don't think he does, but um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And please subscribe. Oh, also, um... If you don't mind liking my video, it just tells me if these are videos that you're interested in so I know what, to, what videos to make. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.